Water is the most common substance on Earth, but it is finite. It's this precious limit that makes it such a valuable resource. Although we use it every day, there is so much you might not know about this life-giving force. Here is our list of amazing facts about water. How much water is a lot? Water is always moving, so it is difficult to get a handle on how much really exists when it's flowing on by. So here are some things to think about in terms of how much we have. There are around 332 million cubic miles, 1.3 billion cubic kilometers of water on Earth. That sounds like a lot, but it's a pretty unfathomable amount. So if you wanted to fill Olympic swimming pools, it's 800 trillion of those. And if you wanted to see how many standard 500 ml water bottles you could fill, you could fill up 3 billion trillion bottles with all the water on the face of the earth. But here is the crux. Only one hundredth of a percent, or 0.001%, is available for human use, like drinking and washing. One in eight people don't have access to water. In the modern world, where so many people are linked up to social media and so much is just a few clicks away, it is crazy to think that there are nearly a billion people on the planet that don't have access to safe, clean water. The main reason for this is inequality. Water is a human right, but in many places, access to water is limited by social class, ethnicity, or affordability. Many governments have failed to keep up with the demand for water supplies, as populations have expanded and infrastructure hasn't been added or maintained. Climate change has affected the supply of water that is available, with drought causing a shortage and flooding leading to contamination of clean water sources. Contamination can also lead to spread of disease. Water, water everywhere. You won't believe how much water these everyday items take to produce. One slice of bread takes 11 gallons of water to make, and one pound of beef takes approximately 1,800 gallons of water, which is made up of the water needed to irrigate what a cow eats, then the water it drinks, and finally the amount of water in processing the beef. That is around eight years worth of drinking water for just 400 grams of meat. To produce the cotton for a pair of jeans takes 1,800 gallons, 6,660 liters of water. Your favorite plain white t-shirt took 715 gallons or 2,700 liters of water to produce. That means it takes three years worth of drinking water to make one t-shirt. Rice really soaks up a lot of resources. One kilogram of rice takes 5,000 liters or 1,320 gallons. And coffee takes a surprising 11,000 liters or 2,900 gallons of water for every pound of coffee beans. Greater than the sum of its parts, bottled water uses between 5 to 11 times the water that the bottle holds to produce it. This is because the process is very wasteful. Making the plastic bottle takes twice as much water as the bottle contains. Filtering water can waste 9 times the water's actual volume. Then the fuel used to make the plastic itself, refrigeration and the transportation of the bottle needs to be factored in. The truth is that in most of the developed world, the water coming from our taps is of the same or better quality than bottled water. It also costs a fraction of the price, often thousands of times less than a bottle of water costs. It's sticky stuff. If you drink from a straw, you will notice that water sticks together. That's because water sticks to each other and also anything it comes into contact with. This is what gives it a strong surface tension and allows liquid to flow or drain the way it does. It is actually pulling itself along. Great Shakes In the United States, the Great Lakes are a large source of water. 40 billion gallons of water are pumped from the Great Lakes every year. Half of this is used for electrical power production. In California, farmers use 90% of all water in the state. And nationally, 80% of all U.S. water is used for agriculture. Sadly, only 10% of farmers are watering efficiently and monitoring their soil's exact needs. Thirsty Work it's thirsty work creating drinks, literally. Your average beer serving takes 20 gallons of water to create. Tea takes 9 gallons to make, a cup of coffee takes 37 gallons, and your favorite soft drink, a whopping 50 gallons of water. Plastic is penetrating our defenses. Tests by the State University of New York has revealed that even bottled water contains microplastics. These teeny tiny plastic invaders had penetrated 90% of 250 bottled water brands that were tested. That means that not only are fish and animals consuming microplastics that build up in the body, most of us that have drank bottled water are loaded with plastic too. Some of these particles are so small they could potentially pass through our membranes and into our bloodstream. 
A river was nearly stolen. At the turn of the 16th century, Florence and Pisa were at war. They shared a common river as their water source, the River Arvo. Nicola Machiavelli, the leader of Florence, employed Leonardo da Vinci to hatch a plan to divert the River Arno away from Pisa and leave them high and dry. But the execution of his plans by building crew was not as good, so the plan failed. Florence and Pisa made peace, thankfully, but we can't deny that a river heist would have been an epic way to win a war. Full Cycle If you were to break down a water's life cycle over 100 years, here are the different states you will find it in. 98 years out of 100, it would be finding Nemo in the ocean somewhere. For 20 months, it would be ice. Two weeks, it would spend in lakes or rivers. And it would only be vapor in the atmosphere for a week or less. From Thin Air in the highlands in rural Peru, farmers without access to water use nets to catch water. Atrapaniblas are large nets standing up on the hillside. They catch condensation from fog, which is stored in tanks and used for agriculture. Each net panel can catch 200 to 400 liters a day from the mountain fog. Leaked In the US, leaking taps can account for 1 trillion gallons of water loss a year. That is the same as 11 million homes of water use in a year. Hollow ground In areas like Northern California, groundwater is being pumped out in such vast amounts that it is causing the Earth's crust to shift. As the water is pumped out, the Earth's crust is getting lighter and lighter, making it more buoyant. This is releasing pressure on the San Andreas Fault and creating earthquakes, sinkholes and landslides. Water reuse in situ resource utilization is a fancy term of making best use of the resources available. And that is certainly what the International Space Station is doing. 85% of the water that is on the space station is recycled. Water is collected from astronauts' breath and sweat and, yep, even urine. Since 2008, instead of launching 2,800 liters or 740 gallons per year into space, they began recycling it through an advanced system that produces fresh drinking water at the end of the cycle. More than meets the eye Scientists have charted the water use of people from around the world who eat meat and those that don't. They found that vegetarians use 35 to 55 percent less water than people who eat meat. Deadly drink Without water, we will die, but too much can also kill you. Drinking too much water can lead to water intoxication. It is a phenomenon of water poisoning known as hyperhydration or water toxemia. When you drink too much water, the electrolytes in the body move outside of the normal limits and it can disrupt brain function. Ice Idea A company called Iceberg Transport International ITI, was established by Mohammed Al Faisal to provide a fresh water source by harnessing icebergs. And we mean literally harnessing icebergs. The idea was to strap them up and tow them to Mecca and then melt them into fresh water. However, when testing was done with a block of ice in San Francisco Bay and the cost was established as $100 million to tow 100 million tons of ice, the idea was scrapped as uneconomical. What great ideas do you have to save water? We'd love to hear from you in the comments below. 1. Make a difference You might think that your water use is just a splash in the ocean, but if we all adopt water-wise ways to conserve water, we will have enough for years to come. Here are some suggestions. Toilet flushing is one of our largest uses. A quarter of all water used in homes goes to this one task. One flush uses three gallons of water. This is more water than many people have access to in an entire day. At home, only flush when you have to. If you can, upgrade your toilet to a more modern model. They use three times less than older toilets. If you can't upgrade, place a brick or a filled water bottle in the cistern and you will save that volume of water each time you flush. Or better yet, collect your bath or shower water and use it to flush your toilet. Close the tap while you brush your teeth. This saves loads of water each time. Use your bath and shower water on your garden by catching it in buckets or diverting your outlet pipes. A garden hose running for an hour uses the same amount of water as an average US family uses in one day. 50% of the water you put on your garden is lost to evaporation or runoff, so be sure to only water your garden after sunset. Recycling saves water. It uses less water to recycle materials like glass and plastic than to make entirely new products. 
Make sure you only use water-hungry appliances like dishwashers and washing machines sparingly. When you do use them, make sure you do a full load to maximize the water you do use.